Your next lesson is the remainder theorem. Okay, si remainder theorem, connected pa din siya kay synthetic division. Kaya mahalaga na master ninyo si synthetic division. At try natin. Recall mo natin si synthetic. So kapag ito yung given natin, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 17x minus 30 divided by x minus 2. So, na-check natin yung exponent, descending order. So, okay na yung numerator. Denominator natin, equate na natin sa 0. So, si x minus 2, equate natin kay 0. So, our x is equal to 2. Ayan. So, kay remainder theorem, hinahanap lang natin yung remainder niya. So, yun yung purpose. So, sa synthetic way, ginagawa natin 2, then, copy the numerical coefficients. 2, 3, negative 17, negative 30. Then, bring down the leading numerical coefficient, which is 2. Then, 2 times 2, that is 4. Then, add natin. 3 plus 4, that is 7. 7 times 2, 14. Negative 17 plus 14, that is negative 3. And negative 3 times 2, negative 6. So ito na ngayon yung ating remainder, negative 36. Yan, Yan yung remainder natin. Yan. So kung remainder na naman ang pinapakuha, oh, pwede na ito yung isulat natin. Pero dito, i-introduce natin yung isa pang way kung paano ang shortcut ng remainder. So, i-check natin dito. Nakuha na natin yung ating value ni x. All we need to do is to substitute the value of x to our dividend. So, yan. 2 times ang x natin ay 2. So, we have 2. Then, our exponent is 3. Plus, 3 times x natin ay 2. So, right, 2 exponent natin. Square. Minus 17. Ang x natin is 2. Minus 30. Now, simplify. 2. 2 cubed. That is 2 times 2 times 2. Which is 8. Plus 3 times 2 times 2. Which is 4. Minus negative 17 times 2, that is 34, minus 30. Copy lang. 2 times 8, 16. Plus 3 times 4, 12. Simplify na natin itong dalawa. Negative 30 minus, a uh, negative 34 minus 30, negative 64. Add natin, 16 plus 12, that is 28, minus 64. 28 minus 64, that is negative 36. So, ito ngayon yung ating remainder. Parehas ba sila? Parehas lang sila. So, ayan. Pwede yung substitution method or the synthetic division ang gamitin natin kapag kinukuha ang remainder. Number two example. Find the remainder of 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 2x minus 11 divided by x minus 2. Again, meron tayong dalawang paraan para makuha ang remainder. We have the synthetic division or kaya yung Substitution way. So, alin na bang mas madali doon? Since remainder lang ang kukunin natin, so, substitute na lang natin. Ano value ng x natin dito? Equate natin sa 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0, so our x is equal to positive 2. Then, substitute natin. 3 times x is 2, so palitan lang si x ng 2. 7 to square 
minus 2 times x is 2 minus 11. Yan. Then, simplify natin. Always remember, tandaan lagi ang PEMDAS. So, ito ay 3, 2 cube, 2 times 2 times 2, 8, plus 7 times 2 square, 4, minus 2 times 2, 4, minus 11. So, simplify natin, 3 times 8, that is 24, plus 7 times 4, 7, 14, 21, 28. Minus 4 minus 11. Add natin 24 plus 28. That is 52. Tama? Negative 4 minus 11, negative 15. Final answer, 52 minus 15. That is 30. I-check natin gamit ang synthetic division. Verify natin. So, 2. Yung ating value ng x. Then, ating mga numerical coefficient. 3, 7, negative 2, negative 11. Then, first step, bring down the first numerical coefficient. 3. 3 times 2, 6. So, add natin, 13. 13 times 2, 26. Then, negative 2 plus 26, 24. Negative 2 times 2, uh, negative uh, 24 times 2, that is, 48. Negative 11 plus 48, 37. So, parehas sila. So, yun. Dalawa yung pwedeng way na pwedeng-pwede ninyong magamit.